Hi Stampers! I'm excited for our Watch It Weekly Wednesday today. I'm going to show you some fun folds that are done on a diagonal. So when you're doing this, you're actually making two cards out of this fold that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to start with my smallest piece first. I'm going to make two 3x3 three three cards on a diagonal. So I'm going to show you. Here's my 6x6. Six six. So if you look at a card that's 3x3, three three, you would cut it 6x3 six like this out of a 6x6 six six piece if you wanted to get two. I'm going to go ahead and score 3 inches like so, and then I'll score again on the other side 3 inches. Now I've got the four squares. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this on a diagonal and line it up in the grooves on my cutter. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this from diagonal to diagonal. And then I have the score lines right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these in like so. Okay, there's one card. And then here's the other card. So you've got two diagonal cards which you can decorate and open up. So let me show you that again. So remember, you score them like this and then the score lines will also be the fold lines. So then you've got two cards. So let me show you the two ideas that I made up with this Sweet Baby stamp set. It's great for small cards. And just did it with the designer series paper. I went ahead on one of them and used used the same exact uh, the other side of the paper. So in other words, but I turned it over. So one side is stripe and one is polka dot. Made two cards, a boy and a girl, just out of that cute stamp set. And of course the three inch envelopes to coordinate with those colors. So there's that one. Now the next size I'm going to do is um, the three and a half by five inch card. So let me show you how that works. Okay, here's two three and a half by five inch cards. What you're going to do is cut right here. This is seven inches across, and five inch and five inch is ten. Okay, so let me show you how you work this to get a, the diagonal card. You're going to go ahead and score against. You remember you have the 10 inches, so I want to score at 5. There we go. And then I'm going to score at the 3.5. This is 7 inches this way. Wait, I've got that right? 3.5. There we go. I almost did it at 3. Okay. So we've got those score lines. So I've got a score line here and here. Now I'm going to turn this on the side from point to point and cut that on the diagonal. Okay, now we've got those folds, the score lines, and so there's one card. Looks like I've got a little gap there, and you can fix that by re-pulling um, it over and folding it again just a little bit closer. I've done that before. Maybe I didn't get it just right. Okay. So that's one card, and then here's the other. You can fold it also this way. Okay, now in order to get these little pieces to fit in here, what you're going to go ahead and do is cut your um, designer series paper a quarter of an inch smaller. So this is a five by three inch card, three and a half inch card. So I'll want to cut my piece four and three quarters and three and a quarter to get the designer series paper for that. So let me show you what I did on that. Here is these cards. So went ahead and this is the card. If you look at it this way before I decorated it. Okay, there's the card and we just did that. Then you fold those over and you take your designer series paper and you'll take one piece that's the purple and then the other piece right here and you'll cut it at the diagonal just like I showed you and then you'll have enough for two cards. So we used an oval um, stitch die right there and the circle die. So that's two fun little cards for the three and a half by five. And we used the needle and thread stamp set on that 
to make the flower. Okay, let me show you a regular size card. This is eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna do basically the same thing. We're gonna go half it with five and a half. And remember we're scoring, we're not cutting yet. So I wanna move that. So went ahead and scored it there. And then at four and a quarter, we're gonna score it again. So this is regular. And then I'm gonna turn it to the side and get it in the groove to make sure I line that up. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it all the way across. I might have to move it down a little bit because of the cutter's not as long. Okay, so we've got the two right there. Then I'm going to show you how I'm going to fold this like that and that. And these are super simple cards to do. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you take your designer series paper and go ahead and, oops, wrong way of folding. Okay, so we've got the two cards right here. Now I'm going to take this Broadway bound designer series paper. I love it with the black and I went ahead and cut two different ones right here. Now we cut them a quarter of an inch smaller. So, and I'm going to take it at the diagonal like this. And let's see, which diagonal do I want to do it this way? Or I'm just trying to think ahead. Okay, I'm going to go like this. And you just want to make sure the groove is right there where the point is. So there's one or two cards. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this so that the candles are sticking straight the right way. This is the bottom of the card. So the same thing. So there's another card like that and like that. Okay, so I'll move this and I'm going to take our adhesive. And just go on the back side and remember that this is smaller so it will go right in that section of your card and this one will too. The fun thing about using this fold is if you have a bigger sein or a sein that goes across your paper you can it can go across and just overlap. I like that. Same thing with this and this. Okay, so we've got two cards just using the opposite on the paper. Okay, let me show you what I did with the envelope. I took a piece and went ahead around the envelope to coordinate with it. And this is just showing just a simple way of using the Celebrate and popping this up so you can open up. Obviously, I would put white in it. Let me show you the finished one. We use some glimmer paper right here and with the saying also and look at how fun it is looks inside. We went ahead and used the Celebrate You and Amazing You dies. And you, you can use this for what's coming up right now as a lot of graduations are coming up. So this would be fun too. So hopefully you've enjoyed these fun folds. Hope to see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday. If you want any of these products, order from stampandjill.com. See you next time.